Hello my Dorklings, it's your boy Nintendo here, back again with another unboxing and review. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the HD microphone kit by the Bauer Company. It's supposed to be a shotgun mic, basically for DSLR cameras and most smartphones. My bad, for use with most smartphones and DSLR cameras, so hopefully my Galaxy S10 and my Nikon D3200 will be compatible. We're gonna be testing out on both. Uh, obviously right now I'm not using the phone microphone, I'm using my Yeti, so the audio is gonna be a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple tests, but let's, uh, let's roll the intro and we'll take a look at the box. Okay, so looking at the front of the box here, it comes with a smartphone mount for your phone, which also has a shoe in it for the microphone itself, which there's that the HD microphone. It is designed for vlogging. It has low self noise, which kind of concerns me. I feel like that's gonna be a constant hum that you'll be able to hear, which hopefully in post process, um, you know, editing, you can fix that or uh, I don't know, maybe it won't be as bad. It's shock absorbing, which I hope so, and it's superior sound. It's also good for vlogging, live videos, interviews, video chats, social media, and live streaming. Moving on to the back of the box here, we have our HD microphone, our smartphone mount, a battery CR2 3 volts. It connects via a standard 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. But enough about the back of the box, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. Okay, so we have like a quick start guide, it looks like. Oh, that's cool. So we have the shotgun mic itself. Here is the phone mount. Looks like it's got threads on the bottom and the back. Here's the CR2 lithium batteries. That's cool. Hopefully these won't be expensive to like replace. And here is the microphone itself. Looks like it has a switch between phone and camera. Okay, so yeah, shotgun mic. Here is the pop filter. That's good. Hopefully it will be really good for noise cancellation. Um, yeah, so basically I guess we insert the battery. Looks like right here. Yep, battery goes there. And, oh, there are threads on the bottom, so uh, you don't have to put it specifically on the shoe. I am curious if this thing will work without a battery, like if it's hooked up to the phone, for example, but we'll try that out as well. So to insert the battery, we take the positive side, make sure it goes left. I'm not seeing an LED. Uh, ah, okay, so if it is on camera, it switches to an LED, which makes me think that this will run off of the phone uh, without having to use the battery. So we will definitely put that to the test. All right, so you guys are looking in a mirror, obviously. Hi, here's me, there's you guys. Here's the microphone, I'm just gonna show you guys. So I already have my Gorillapod here with the attachment. Uh, this, like I said, it's the microphone. Basically, it looks like you just unscrew this to loosen it up. So that way it'll reveal the shoe itself and that's how you tighten it. So uh, basically, you just, if you're gonna do selfie mode, you turn the, uh, how do I do this? There you go. You have it facing you, obviously. Um, if you're gonna film you guys, I believe you should be able to just flip it around like so. Yeah, that way I can film you guys. And if you guys were to theoretically be able to talk to me, you could pick it up this way. So um, yeah, there's that. And yeah, so once you slide it into the shoe, you just twist it to tie it down or to tighten it down. So that way it won't come off. So let's move outside. Oh, something I should mention. I think the reason it says it's compatible with most phones is because my phone has a headphone jack. So if you have a newer phone, obviously you'll have to use your USB type C or a lightning adapter to hook this into. All right, so we are outside. Currently I'm using the microphone that is built into my Galaxy S10. So all the stuff you're hearing is from the actual microphone that's built in. Couple things uh, real quick. So one, I found out from the little quick start guide that camera mode specifically does use the battery. So whenever I hook the microphone into my phone, it will automatically power it up. So again, this is what outside sounds like with just my default um, microphone. And this is what the outside sounds like with the uh, shotgun mic plugged in. Uh, my phone did notify me that it is recording through an external audio source, which is cool. Uh, the microphone is about a foot and a half away from my mouth. I'm actually going to set the tripod down and walk away and, you know, we're, we're, we'll test that out as well. But before we do that, I'm actually just going to kind of hang out for a second and we're going to see if we can hear like a humming or a popping, like that low noise that it was talking about, so. Okay. 
All right, so you guys are on the ground facing upwards towards me. I'm talking at a normal level, and I'm about six or seven feet away from my phone and the microphone. So this is actually good. I'm gonna talk while these cars pass by. We're gonna make sure maybe see if it can pick them up over me or what. Um, I'm gonna back up a little bit. So I might disappear out of frame, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm about 15 and a half, 16 feet away from the microphone, still talking normal. Um, cars are gonna be passing by here in a second. So I'm gonna keep talking while they pass by. Once again, I'm talking normally. Yeah, so now I'm going to come up behind you guys. We're going to see how well it picks up my voice from behind. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to your guys' I think right, my left. And I am over top of the phone and now I am directly behind the microphone. I'm going to back up a little bit more. I'm about three feet from it. I am now about 15 feet away from my phone and the microphone facing away from me. So yeah. Okay, that concludes the test with my phone. Now we're going to try out uh, a DSLR. This is a Nikon D3200. A little beginner camera. I've had it forever. So let's go. So you guys are mounted up to the camera. Uh, you got to turn the switch on to camera so that way it'll use the battery. Otherwise, it won't record. This is a little odd for me. I don't normally film with a DSLR, let alone have my arm at full length extended. So, but basically I'm going to do the same test. I'm just going to kind of lay you guys on the ground, walk about... 15, 20 feet away, and uh, we will see how it goes. All right, uh, actually, I'm gonna squat down a little bit because I'm probably out of frame, but this is about 10 feet from you guys, and I'm talking normally still, uh, other than, you know, I'm hunched over. I'm gonna go back just a little bit more with all these cars going by. I'm gonna see if you guys can still hear me. Again, uh, DSLR on the ground. So, yeah, this is what it sounds like with the DSLR. I'm probably out of focus, and that's okay. So, yeah, I think that concludes our test as far as the phone and the DSLR is concerned. Okay, I've got me in focus, hopefully. I've got you guys at about arm's length again. I think that concludes our test as far as the microphone goes, both with phone and DSLR. I'm actually excited to hear how the audio came out. Uh, if there's like a humming or a popping, I think is probably what's going to happen. Also, just to save battery, I'm going to switch back over to my phone, so I'll see you guys in just a sec. As I mentioned over on the DSLR, I'm actually really excited to see how this microphone did as it's 15 bucks from Walmart. Ted, I think that's going to conclude today's video. So if you could, please make sure you sub, smash, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff down below. And I will catch you guys on the next video. You stay retro, my dorklings.